Good evening. And um, the Lawrence Alliance for Education board meeting for December 14th will now come to order. The time is 625. Um, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. And Mr. Molly is going to lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the republic which stands, one nation under God, in the visible, with the liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Marley. All right, we're currently waiting for a couple of members that are not here, and we're trying to get them on Zoom. But um, the committee members that are here would like to um, open the public participation and listen to your comments. So we will begin with Mr. Molly. Three Chester Street. Good evening, honorable members. Million thanks to honorable superintendent Cynthia Paris and Lawrence Alliance members for granting contracts for our teachers, our professional employees, and cafeteria workers. Lawrence Public School, with the impeccable leadership by Honorable Superintendent Cynthia Paris, moving forward from the first day of her arrival, has been positive changes. The best policy of 100 days just listening to our public, to our children, to our parents and the school staff, became the policy of the success. Because of Honorable Superintendent Best leadership, the parental and community involvement has improved. The news of building new school make every Laurentian proud. We are united in support of Best leadership of Honorable Superintendent Cynthia Paris, Lawrence Public School educator, Lawrence teachers. We are thankful for your hard work and sacrifices. Thank you, Lawrence Public School nurses, for helping our children in the greatest pandemic of the century. With the best season greeting for Lawrence teachers, Lawrence Public School employees, and Lawrence Alliance Education for leadership for all citizens. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Molly. Vivian Bonnet. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Vivian Bonet, and I am the president of Lawrence, Amer Lawrence Administrative Support Staff, and our contract is before you for approval, and I want to thank the superintendent for um, coming with a, a, to having our contract we agreed on, and also for Marisol for helping and being at the negotiation table. We went back and forth, but we ended up coming to an agreement, and I hope you approve it. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. All right, at this time, we'll take a short recess, and hopefully we can get the, um, the absent members on Zoom. Thank you. I would like to, take, I would like to ask the board to take items out of order and move that we enter into executive session at this time for the purpose of negotiations with union and non-union personnel. Would someone make a motion, please? So moved. Um, thank you, Julia. Second? Second. Maria, we'll call the roll. Um, Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Uh, we will recess and or we will go into an executive session and we will return in approximately a half hour. Thank you. Could I have a motion to come out of executive session? So moved. Second. Thank you, Julia. Julia. Second. 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 Maria. We'll take a roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Um, Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. 
Okay, next item on the agenda is the chair's report. And I'd like to review the superintendent's evaluation. Um, this evaluation is a compilation of the board members' individual evaluations. The following areas were highlighted. Engagement with families, the Tuvos council meetings, and the coffee hours allow parents the opportunity to engage in problem solving and to share immediate concerns involving the district. I believe this past week's coffee hour engaged over 100 parents with the focus on winter school closings and attendance. The reorganization of the Family Resource Center into the Office of Community, Family, and Student Partnerships. The district is divided into four zones to support pre-K to eight schools. This has personalized the support for families in a consistent manner for grades K through eight. The budget process, the process is well structured and allows principals the opportunity to work with the district budget goals to build the school budget, which is aligned to overall district goals. That's a few of the highlights that I'd like to um, mention to you. Um, at this time, are there any board members that would like to make a comment about the evaluation? All right, hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to accept the superintendent's evaluation as described. Motion made to accept the superintendent's evaluation. Thank you. Second. Holden. Jess. Second. Thank you, Jess. We'll call the roll. Jess. Yes. Julia. Yes. Maria. Yes. And the chair votes yes. As we discussed in previous meetings, upon completion of the superintendent's evaluation, she is entitled to a pay increase. I'm looking for a motion to grant the superintendent Paris a 3% increase effective July 1st, 2022. I'll, so I'll moved. Take, thank you, uh, Jeff. Second. Se second, Julia? Second. Oh, Maria, Maria. thank you. All right, let's call the roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. The motion passes. At this time, I'll turn the um, meeting over to the superintendent for her reports. Thank you. So tonight, we have a couple of items for you to um, review. First, we'll do the wellness policy. So last time that we were here, Carol Noonan was sharing with you the updated policy. And so we are hoping to get a favorable vote of yes for those changes. Are there any questions that you all might have of Carol or of myself of those changes in the wellness policy? Any questions? No, no, no questions. All right. All right, hearing no further questions or comments, I'll entertain a motion to adopt the Lawrence Public Schools wellness policy with the proposed changes presented by the committee. This revision supports the important relationship between wellness and academic success for all staff. I'd like to make that in the form of a motion. So moved. Thank you, Julia. Seconded. Second. Second. Maria. We'll call the roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. The motion passes. Superintendent? Great. Next, we want to share with you our budget. Sorry, good evening. Just one correction. It's for all students and staff. The motion should read at the end. Oh, I'm sorry. That's OK. Yes, it, it was there. OK. Thank you. Do we need to re-vote? No. All right, let the vote, let the motion read that um, the revision supports the important relationships between wellness and academic success for all students and staff. Thank you, Odenis. Thank you. Superintendent? Sure. Next. We're going to share with you the recommended budget priorities. Earlier this week, we met with the budget subcommittee, 
and made some recommendations as to the fiscal year 23-24 budget priorities. Go ahead, Masia. Sure. So the recommended budget priorities for the school year 23-24 will look the same as they did in the last three years. We have decided to continue with, this multi -year, with these multi-year priorities because they align to our district turnaround plan. And so in order to be able to successfully achieve that, we would need that our priorities are connected to it and that funding continues to go to those programs that help us fulfill that plan. So student achievement, support services, grow a culturally responsive workforce, and deepen family and student partnerships remain as our recommended district priorities for this coming school year. Yep, additionally, we've shared updates with you on where we are with all of those current goals. And um, we highly recommend keeping these, as Maciel had mentioned, in order to keep alignment and bear resources, those fundings towards those goals for us to successfully complete them. It's in quite a line with the turnaround plan, so um, we are hoping that you would agree. Members of the budget subcommittee are here today, and um, we had a good, robust conversation about it earlier this week. Any further questions from the, um, the board? Jess, do you have any questions? No, I think those are the right priorities. All right, and um, I can speak for the other three mem two members that were on that budget subcommittee. We did have a very thorough discussion, and we agreed on those, on those goals. All right, so I would like to entertain a motion to approve the Lawrence Public School budget priorities for FY 23-24 as presented. So moved. So moved. Second. Jess, thank you. Second? Second. Julia? We'll call the roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. The motion passes. Um, we're going to table the other two items that are on our agenda till the next meeting, the attendance up get update and the teaching and learning portion of the agenda. Um, the Acceleration Academies and the SQR. Mm -hmm. All right, the next item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the November 9th meeting. Are there any corrections or omissions anyone would like to bring up? No, I don't have any. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to accept the November 9th minutes as presented. So moved. Thank you, Julia. Seconded? Second. Thank you, Maria. We'll call the roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Motion passes. At this time, I'd like to give a report on our executive session. Um, we'd like to share some of the results from our discussions in the executive session. Um, the first motion I'll entertain is to approve the contract with the Lawrence Administrative Support Staff Association, AFT, Local 6317. Do I have a motion? So moved. Thank you, Julia. Second? Second. Maria? Second. We'll call the roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. The next um, contract we'd like to vote on is the, um, I need a motion to approve the contract with the UFCW Local 1445, our LPNs. Do I have a motion? So moved. Thank you, Jeff. Second it? Second. Maria, thank you. We'll call the roll. Jeff? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. All right, I, we'd like to vote for the tabled items. I'm sorry, I should have done that. Um, I'll entertain a motion to table the attendance update and teaching and learning accel um, acceleration academies and the SQR. Do so I have moved. a motion? So moved. Thank you, Julia. Second? Second. 
Thank you, Jess. We'll call the roll. Um, Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. All right, the next um, bit of information that, that what I'd like to share with you is that I am announcing that Superintendent Paris will transition out of a role as of January 13th, 2023. On behalf of the board, I want to formally thank Superintendent Paris for her leadership on behalf of the Lawrence Public Schools. Is, um, I'd like a motion to execute the separation agreement between Superintendent Cynthia Paris and the Lawrence Alliance for Education as pre presented by Attorney Jennifer Miller. May I have that in the form of a motion? So moved. Thank you, Julia. Seconded? Second. Thank you, Jess. At this time, I'd like to open the board for um, any discussion. Julia? Thank you, Pat. Um, I just want to uh, thank the superintendent for her service. I know she came to us during a difficult time and she has been uh, faced with many challenges, um, including dealing with us as a board, which is something that uh, she was not used to and neither were we. But um, she's come uh, a long way. She's done a tremendous job. She's tried her best um, to provide the district with uh, anything that she has been able to give. And I just want to thank uh, Cynthia for her service to us and wish her well in her next endeavors. Thank you. Jess, I see you. Yeah. Yes, I'd I, I also, I want to echo that. I think that um, Cynthia has done a great job through some extraordinarily difficult circumstances and um, in a challenging environment. And I have never doubted her unwavering dedication to the kids in the system. I think that she really, you know, ha has a, a deep heart for this kind of work. And I particularly also want to commend her for the work that she's done in um, on multiple levels, diversifying the educator workforce and, and setting up um, and supporting a number of initiatives that I feel like um, will have very beneficial impacts for the system for years to come. So I really uh, thank you very much and um, appreciate you and really wish you the best in future endeavors. Thank you, Jess. Maria? I echo everything that was already said. I, I don't want to repeat everything again, but I, I think, um, you, know, you, you know, I hope I wish you well in your future endeavors. I hope you continue being an intelligent, strong woman. I am especially proud to identify as a Latino woman with you, and I think, um, I hope our students do as well, our, our female students do as well. I, um, I don't, I never envied your position. It was, it was an extremely difficult job, and uh, I don't think anybody could relate to it. You know, really, you do have to walk a mile in your shoes before you even evaluate the, your role, um, especially during the circumstances that you worked on um, during. Um, I also am excited about many of the seeds that you planted. Um, I am excited about a lot of the projects that are just starting, uh, and I hope they continue. Um, but I thank you for planting those seeds and for also surrounding yourself with an incredible team. I, I, I work closely with many of them, and I really appreciate um, your skill in, in bringing in a team that is that strong. Um, because it's not only you, right? It's like, you know, you, you, you really, um, our city is represented so well um, in, in, in the administration of our district and that's thanks to you as well. So thank you. Um, there's not much left for me to say. Um, I think back to four years ago when you went on your 100 day uh, listening tour and um, I think you've been listening ever since and um, I appreciate everything you've done for the district and with me, 
being very patient with me with my new role as chair of the LAE board. Um, I wish you nothing but the best and um, keep in touch with us in Lawrence. Um, we'll miss you. So I think we should all give Cynthia a round of applause and thank her for her service. Now I'll give you an opportunity to speak to us. I'm overwhelmed. Um, I think I said when I arrived here four years ago that I was smitten with this community and that still remains true. I'm gonna miss you guys. And I wanna thank you for your support. You are constant, you know, thoughtful questions and your wonderings and your, um, your gentle pushes and your constant cheering on of our students, family and staff. I think that has made us better. I think, in fact, we are stronger for that. And uh, the team has been exceptional. That's hard for me. Without them, this district would not be what it is now. The principals, teachers, of course, and our beautiful children who trust us and our families. It's probably allergies, so I'm, no, oh. <laughs> I know it's really bad in this room. It's the carpet, it's the carpet. But um, so thank you. I appreciate your kind words. And of course, we will be in touch. Of course, we will be in touch. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. <clears throat> so which brings me to the final um, discussion. I've been thinking about an interim superintendent from within the district to lead Oh, I'm sorry, I'll start again. I've been thinking about an interim superintendent from within the district to lead temporarily while we begin the process of searching for the district's next permanent superintendent. That thinking, along with conversations with, the, with Commissioner Riley, has led me to Mr. Juan Rodriguez. I'd like to share a few highlights from his resume. Um, probably expressing to you why I think he might be a good choice. Juan Rodriguez has been a leader in Lawrence since 2015 when he was appointed as the principal of the Arlington School. He transitioned to Lawrence High School as curriculum supervisor. Juan was quickly promoted to Lawrence High School assistant headmaster. He then became a Lawrence High School principal. Juan served as principal for multiple, for multiple grade levels during his time at Lawrence High School. This year, he accepted a position as central office as chief partnership office, um, leading the district's work with family and community engagement. Recently, Juan completed a two-year Influence 100 fellowship program with the New York Leadership Academy with a focus on leading for equity. This program is designed to elevate and prepare school administrators for school and superintendencies in Massachusetts. In more than 17 years of service to, um, to Lawrence, he has become well known and respected in the school community. Juan would serve as a steady hand during this time of transition. So I welcome and I'm very, very grateful that one has accepted um, to assume the role as the interim superintendent. Is there any discussion? All right, hearing none, I'd like to make a motion that the board vote to recommend Mr. Juan Rodriguez as interim superintendent 
and that we further direct Attorney Miller or her designee to begin contract negotiations with Mr. Rodriguez. I have that in the form of a motion. So moved. Thank you, Jess. Second? Second. Second. Julia, thank you. We'll call the roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. The board looks forward to working with Ms. The, the, um, the motion passes. The board looks forward to working with Mr. Rodriguez and appreciate his willingness to step into this temporary role. We will, of course, take up next steps for finding the district's permanent superintendent at our next meeting. Um, before we take a, a vote to adjourn, I would like to take an opportunity to wish my colleagues on the board a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. To our Lawrence Public School staff, wishing you and your families happy holidays. And finally, to our students and their families, Feliz Navidad. I will now entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, Julia. Second. Second, Maria. We'll call the roll. Jess? Yes. Julia? Yes. Maria? Yes. And the chair votes yes. Thank you all very much, and good night.